7 o'clock in the evening watching something stupid on TV. I'm zoned out on the sofa when my wife comes in the room and sees me. And she says, is this behind the music with Leonard Skinner? And I say, I don't know. Say it's getting late. What you want to do for dinner? She says, I kind of had a big lunch, so I'm not super hungry. I said, well, you know, baby, I'm not starving either, but I could eat. She said, so what do you have in mind? I said, I don't know. What about you? She says, I don't care if you're hungry. Let's eat. I said, that's what we're going to do. But first, you got to tell me what it is you're hungry for. And she says, let me think what's left in our refrigerator. I said, well, there's tuna, I know. She said, that went bad a week ago. I said, is the chili okay? She said, you finished that yesterday. I hopped up and said, I don't know, do you want to get something delivered? She's like, why would I want to eat liver? I don't even like liver. I'm like, no, I said delivered. She's like, I heard you say liver. I'm like, I should know what I said. She's like, whatever, I just don't want any liver. Well, I was going to say something, but my cell phone started to ring. Now who could be calling me? Well, I checked my caller ID. It was just Cousin Larry calling for the third time today. My wife said, let it go to voicemail. I said, okay. Where were we? Oh, dinner, right? So what do you want to do? She says, why don't you whip up something in the kitchen? Yeah, I said, why don't you? And then she says, baby, can't we just go out to dinner, please? I says, no. She says, yes. I says, no. She says, yes. I says, no. She says, yes. Oh, here's your keys. I step a little bit closer. Say, okay, where you want to go? She says, how about the ivy? I said, yeah, well, I don't know. I don't feel like getting all dressed up and eating expensive food. She says, Olive Garden. I say, nah, I'm not in the mood. Burrito King would make me gassy, there's no doubt She says just forget about it I said no, I swear I'm gonna take you out Then I get an idea I say I know what we'll do She says what? I say guess She says what? I say we're going to the drive-thru So we head out the front door Open the garage door Then I open the car doors And we get in those car doors Put my key in the ignition and then I turn it sideways Then we fasten our seat belts As we pull out the driveway Then we drive to the drive-thru Heading off to the drive-thru We're approaching the drive-thru Getting close to the drive-thru Almost there at the drive-thru Now we're here at the drive-thru Here in line at the drive-thru Did I mention the drive-thru? We are in the drive through line Me and her Cars in front of us, cars in back of us All just waiting to order There's some idiot in a Volvo With his bright sun behind me I lean out the window and scream Hey, what you trying to do blind me? My wife says maybe we should park We could just go eat inside I said I'm wearing bunny slippers So I ain't leaving this ride now a woman on a speaker box is saying, can I take your order, please? I said, yes, indeed, you certainly can. We'd like two hamburgers with onions and cheese. Then my wife says, baby, hold on, I've changed my mind. I think I'm going to have a chicken sandwich instead this time. I said, you always get a cheeseburger. She says, that's not what I'm hungry for. I put my head in my hands and scream, I don't know who you are anymore. The voice on the speaker says, I don't have all day. I said, then take our order and we'll be on our way. I want to get a chicken sandwich and I want a cheeseburger too. She's like, you want onions on that? I'm like, yeah, I already said that I do. Plus we need curly fries and don't you dare forget it. And two medium root beers, no, just one will split it. Then I said, I'm guessing that you're probably not too bright. So read me back my order, let's make sure you got it right. She says, one, you want a chicken sandwich? Two, you want a cheeseburger? Three, curly fries and a large root beer? Stop, don't go no further. I never ordered a large root beer, I said medium, not large. Then she says, we're having a special, I supersized you at no charge. Oh. And that's all I could say was oh, oh, 
And she says now there's something else That I really think you should know You can have unlimited refills For just a quarter more I say great, except we're in the drive-thru So what would I want that for? Then she says wait a minute your voice sounds so familiar, hey, is this Paul? And my wife is all like, no, that ain't Paul. Now tell me, who's this Paul? She says, oh, he's just some guy who goes to school with me. I sat behind him last year and I copied off of him in geometry. I said, I know a guy named Paul. He used to be my plumber. He was prematurely bald. And he moved to Pittsburgh last summer. He also had bladder problems and a really bad infection on his toe. And she says, Mr. Please, you can stop right there. That's way more than I needed to know. And then we both were quiet, and things got real intense. And then she says, next window, please, that'll be $5.82. And so we inched ahead in line, moving painfully slow. I got a little bored, so I turned on the radio. Turned it off because my wife was getting a headache So we both just sat there quietly for her sake well, Then I looked at her And she looked back at me And I said, um, I think you have something in your teeth She turned away from me And then turned back and said, did I get it? I said, yeah, well I mean most of it But hey, you know, don't sweat it Then she said how about now? I said, yeah, almost. There's still a little bit there, but don't worry. It's probably just a piece of toast. Now we're at the pay window, or whatever you call it. Put my hand in my pocket. I can't believe there's no wallet. Wallet, 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 wallet. And the lady at the window's like, well, 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 that'll be 582. I turn around to my wife and say, how much have you got on you? She just rolls her eyes and says, I'll pay for this, I guess. So she reaches into her purse and busts out the American Express. I hand it to the lady and she says, oh dear, it's got to be cash only. We don't take credit cards here. I took back the card and said, she really, well, that sucks. And that's when I found out my wife was only carrying three bucks. I said, I thought you were gonna hit the ATM today. She says, I never got around to it, so where's your wallet anyway? And I said, never mind, just help me to find some change. Now the lady at the window's looking at me kind of strange. And she says, Mr. Please, we gotta move this line along. I said, now hold your stinking horses, lady, we won't be long. So I looked around inside the glove box and checked the mat beneath my feet. I found a nickel and an ashtray and a couple pennies and a dime in the space between the seats. Before long, I had a little pile of coins of every sort. The lady counts it up and says, you're still about a dollar short. And now my woman's got this weird look frozen on her face. She screams, you know, I wasn't even really hungry in the first. And so I turned around to the cashier again I shrugged and said, okay, forget the chicken sandwich then So I pick up my change, pick up my receipt And I drive to the pickup window, man I just can't wait to eat And now we see this acne ridden kid about 16 Wearing a dorky name tag that says, hello my name is Eugene And he hands me a paper bag I look him in the eyes And I say to him, hey Eugene Could I get some ketchup for my fries? Well he looks at me And I look at him And he looks at me And I look at him And he looks at me And I look at him And he says, I'm sorry What did you want again? I say ketchup And he says, oh yeah that's right just face down there for a second I'm really kind of burnt tonight And then he hands me the ketchup 